We're just going to talk a bit about doing the kind of cuttings you can do at this time of year. This is fuchsia arborescens and it's quite different in the way it grows from the normal sort of standard fuchsias you see in gardens. This is a bit tender. It grows outside in Cornwall so you would expect it perhaps to grow for eight to ten years and then you might get a hard winter that would knock it right back. But these are very very easy to do. You can prune and take cuttings at the same time so just cut neatly on a sloping cut above a joint and then you can use most of that for cuttings and what I would do is actually again just do a sloping cut just to reiterate the point of doing a sloping cut is so that when um, when you're misting it when you're watering it the water will run away from the nodes and so you won't get anything rot off this is just a little bit of fluff and whatever so that's the beginnings of the cutting you just take off these side leaves you go underneath the next nodes and that's your cutting. Again, it will root like that, but you can do a wound just to expose, again, a bit of the cambium, which is the layer you can just see going around the edge. And for that cutting, the leaves do need to be reduced just slightly. Best way to do it, do all three at once with a nice, clean, sharp pair of scissors rather than your secateurs. That's your cutting. So put it in about that far into just your peat or peat substitute with a bit of drainage and take probably four to six weeks to root, possibly quicker. But that's one of three different types we're going to look at. Oh, this is just to show you uh, three different types of fuchsia. This is the flower from the arborescence, our arboreum that we saw in the uh, conservatory just now. That's just the remains of the, fl uh, the flower. And next door to that, we have Fuchsia procumbens. It's semi-hardy, but it really does well inside a conservatory or in, a, in um, a greenhouse situation because you'll get all this lovely lush green growth. The flower on this is really beautiful, really unusual. Basically, it's an upright flower. It's quite unusual colours with the yellow, the purple and the green. And when it's covered in pollen, the pollen is an electric blue. It's a really unusual colour, very, very beautiful. And the cuttings for this, really, really straightforward. It really is just that. You can put that anywhere practically, in soil, just, just like that. Give it a bit of a mist line again and that will root really really quickly you can also lie it on the soil and just partially bury it and it will root from the nodes so that's how to do fuchsia procumbens cuttings it goes eventually i suppose it's five or six inches in height but it will go um, up to three feet in length perhaps four feet in length so it's quite nice to have for a hanging basket it's quite an unusual thing to have This, the fuchsia next to it, um, that one comes from Central America. These two both come from New Zealand. And this looks quite like it's not going to be a very big growing plant, but it actually grows in the New Zealand forests. It grows up to, um, what, to 10 to 20 metres, perhaps 15 metres maximum. So it is actually the New Zealand tree fuchsia. And we don't have any flowers at all on this, I'm afraid. But normally it flowers very, very close to the stem and on all the small branches and the flowers again are quite similar to this they grow out from the stem they grow out that kind of angle they are purple and green and again they have that bright blue pollen they're a bit darker in color than that perhaps a bit more maroon and you have quite a range of colors from the flowers all at the same time which is nice again with this you just do this like an ordinary softwood cutting you could just take Again, cut above a node, nice clean cut. Take off some of the lower growth. Trim that off. I've gone a bit close there, so I'd go up to the next node and just clean it up. You might, you could pinch out the top if you want. And just trim off one leaf perhaps. That's gonna be fine as it is. You don't need to do anything to the leaves. And again, you, it's gonna root all over the place, but you can if you want, just do that little bit of wound 
to expose the cambium. So that's your cutting.